tables. It's me, your favorite whole Joe. Welcome to a baking live stream. In fact, right now it's happening today. We'll be baking my world famous bowls of hole cookies at my desk just to show you how easy they are. You need one bowl and one hole, hole of your choice. And I've baked these before on live stream, but now we have a new and improved updated recipe. This is the first time I've started this video. I didn't mess up three times before. And in fact, this still wasn't a good intro. So we should have kept the first one. Now we're going to start this off by saying we have technology here. And, <laughs> and at some points when I'm in the kitchen, you'll be able to see da, 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 da. the kitchen camera live to you coming from a Zoom call. It's in fact, that's right, my kitchen. That's the miniature oven we'll be baking these in. Not the big oven. I prefer to use the small batch oven because I like it better. So we're not mixing the intros. This is already a mess. Um, I've got lots of paper towels, lots of things to help myself for when I mess up. We're actually right now about to use the kitchen cam because the very first thing you do in this recipe, which I don't have written down except in my, in my heart, and in my head, <laughs> I have this recipe written down in my heart and in my head. Um, and you start with a stick of butter and it's melted butter. That's what makes this one whole. You have all the ingredients, you mix them all in one bowl. We're not creaming the butter, which you would normally do. Um, we're using other methods to make these cookies fluffy. And in fact, this is a bowl. It's made out of opal glass. <laughs> As we found out in the pre-show, which is an interesting type of glass, I am will be measuring all of the things in um, grams, which is better because baking, you want to be exact. So I have a baking scale here. And the first thing we're going to do is melt our one stick of butter. Now, in fact, I'm going to go do that. And you will, I'll pull up the kitchen camera and you can see me melting this butter live before I run back in here. I'll see you in a moment in the kitchen. I hope the microphone's working in there because if not, I'm just going to be talking to nobody. Um, uh, hold on. It's fancy seeing you here. Can you hear me? live from the kitchen can in my own house. Please let me know if you can hear me because the microphone is not good. <laughs> oh good, you can hear me. If you notice, this is what we call a microwave. And also I painted these, me and Justin painted these cabinets ourselves. <laughs> We're gonna pop that in here for about a minute. The lighting's not good in here, neither is the audio. Is the, isn't it bad? <laughs> Look, I'm dabbing. This is very cozy. I really like my kitchen. The kitchen, in fact, is two walls. There's a wall here. It's a, it's what we call a galley kitchen. And in fact, I don't know what, no, an alley. Is it an alley kitchen or a galley kitchen? Um, and so there's a row of cabinets and another counter right here. Galley? Okay. Isn't that a ship word? Isn't that on boats? Isn't that a boat thing? Oh! Okay. The butter, the butter popped because I left it in there a little too long, and that's fine because it is now melted. Oops. I'm not going to spill this on the laptop. It's melted butter. Uh, you will see me in just a moment. Back there, live from the office. Back, back to you, Joe. Oh, it's good to see you again so fast. This is now in this part of the house, in the office, where I will be doing the next step, which includes... <laughs> I told you 
told y'all this was gonna be messy as hell. What if I change outfits every time I go to the other camera? What if I change outfits? This outfit's too fucking hot. Okay, so normally you would cream the butter and the sugar together, which is not what we're doing because this is one bowl to one whole. And we need a cup of sugar, which is about, um, I think it's technically like 198 grams. Oh, there goes Piggy. <laughs> Oh, you can see my Tylenol. <laughs> Which is technically like 198 grams. But I do like, you can do like 200. I'll probably do like 180. I don't like them quite as sweet. Oh, change wigs. Is there an egg back there? Okay, I do have the egg. So, oh, let's measure this. Reset the scale. I hope I have enough sugar. I do, I do. So, that's like 189. That's good. This, yeah, this is from Marshall's, this sugar container. That's not piss in the bowl. And now I'm going to use my favorite cooking instrument, which is called a spoonchilla. I got it at Target, and it changed my life because it's part spoon, part spatula, and it's one-bodied. What? Well, it's one body. So we're going to mix that till it's a little smoother. Y'all, I'm going to have to take this sweater off. It is like 85 degrees in this house. We have two... Sp I like these so much. I have two spoon chillas. No, it's made out of silicone or something, probably, I'm sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Don't, don't ask. I didn't... I'm not taking questions. <laughs> I... I'M SORRY YOU THOUGHT THIS WAS A Q&A BAKING STREAM, OKAY? <laughs> They're Target brand spoonchillas. They're Target brand. So we're just kind of whipping this up. And that's, uh, I think I put in the right amount. I do this once a week and I always do it from memory because this is such an easy cookie recipe. But then sometimes I question myself if I'm doing the right thing. But then I remember that we're all going to die anyway. And if they taste good, then that's what matters. You know? You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, the next step is... Next, we will add... Um, our egg and I hope the butter is not so I don't think the usually the sugar cools down the butter your your egg is not at risk of scrambling I'll tell you that so we're gonna crack our egg and I'm gonna have some paper towels handy because I didn't put I didn't bring anything in here to put the egg shell in that's fine I'm not panicking in this in fact and I'm not, and I'm not panicking. I'm doing all of this at my desk. I'm not panicking, actually. The egg is now, and now the egg is sweating. <laughs> oh. Because the egg's been out of the fridge for a while. So that's, you know, an issue. I put it in my, so uh, fun tip. Oh my God, there was still coffee in there. I thought it was an empty mug. Well, <laughs> egg on my face, as they say in the industry. <laughs> bon appetit, egg coffee. <laughs> it looks like I've accidentally um, put the eggs in my coffee, actually. So that's something I can't drink anymore. So we're just mixing the egg in. We want to make sure that egg... <laughs> Well, here's the thing, though. When I make that, when I can make these cookies in this condition and they're still going to be beautiful, it should show you that you can make these eggs in any fucking condition and they'll be literally so easy to do. Because if I'm making them in these stressful, hectic conditions, I don't want to leave any ingredients out. So I'm looking at my ingredient list. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, so we've done the butter, the sugar, the egg. Now we need a teaspoon of vanilla. And I don't measure that, just so you know. <laughs> Some, would you like your sugary raw egg soup? We don't measure. And I think this one's out. I have, a, I have another one, don't worry. 
One teaspoon. You can't really over or under measure vanilla. I just don't believe in it. So you don't measure vanilla when you're baking, by the way. So a little bit more. That's probably about a teaspoon, maybe a little closer to a teaspoon and a half. But <laughs> nobody cares. Oh my God. I think there was just a wreck outside. <laughs> Y'all. What if it goes wild? What if this gets really wild? And then we have to be a witness to like a wreck. And then you add. Now, here's what you do add. <laughs> no, when do I add the ants? Then you do add a half a teaspoon of salt. I use Morden's salt. You don't want to use like, like just use table salt. We're not using pink Himalayan salt. And then you want to use a half a teaspoon of baking soda, not powder. They are incredibly different things, just so you know. And more is not going to make them rise more, just so you know. That's not how it works. Ha 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 ha. I don't think this is even iodized. This salt does not supply iodide. Sorry, sad. Sorry, sad. I use arm and hammer baking soda and now we're just going to stir those in normally you would add the flour first i add these first because i want them very incorporated into the liquid but that's just me again so we do it we do it it's a special thing that we're doing <laughs> God, the, is morton's the cheap salt I do get just whatever's cheapest at the store. Except for flour. I do get good flour because that is a thing. Normally, I get um, King Arthur flour. They did not have it this time. So I got the O Organics brand um, unbleached all-purpose flour. Always get unbleached. Okay, so we've done the butter, sugar, egg, vanilla, Baking soda, salt. Now we just need to do the flour and the chocolate chips. Are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and actually my secret ingredient, which has, there's a new ingredient which alters this from my original recipe. I've um, added something new in order to make these the next level of bowl to hole cookies. So we're going to do exactly 150 grams of flour. I, and I'm just going to dump it. <laughs> exactly 150 grams. <laughs> you got to, and you whisper it to make it come out. Come on there. <laughs> come on, cutie. <laughs> Don't be shy. All right, exactly 150 grams of flour. Tap that back in the bag. That was oop. <laughs> that was going surprisingly well until I shoved it, my microphone in it. And now we're going to stir that in. Mmm. The interesting thing about flour is it's not made out of flowers. I don't know if y'all know this, but as a chef, that's something I've learned over the years. And we just are kind of folding it in. There's no Bud Light in these cookies. That's already, I'm, y'all, I just started drooling. And this is just egg, this is just egg sugar flour. Egg sugar flour poo. Okay, are y'all ready for the brand new ingredient? That's mostly done. So, 150 grams of regular flour, and then we add quick oats. These are what's going to give it its texture. These are what's going to keep it together. These are going to soak up some of the moisture because I don't feel like putting them in the fridge. I want to eat them now. The bowl to hole secret ingredient, brand new ingredient, is, is quick oats and 
we want 100, 200 grams altogether of flour plus oats. So we put 150 of the flour. Now we put 50 grams of oats. And I will tell you right now, you will not even know that these have oats in them. You will not see them. You will not taste them. You will not crunch them. I'm, I mean, there's flour in them. They already weren't gluten free. <laughs> they have flour in them. They already weren't gluten free. So we're going to stir in 50 grams of those. And that's so little compared to the flour. It's just going to give us the texture we want. And you're not even you, you're not even going to be able to say like, oh, these are oatmeal. These are oatmeal chocolate chip cookies because you won't taste that. You won't taste. You won't see the oatmeal won't be perceived. What are these so they're not gluten not me adding the fucking oats and saying oh so they're now they're not gluten free they really give it a really really good texture they help to fluff it up look at that batter oh and now we add the chocolate chips chocolate chips your choice i have a variety here i'll probably do a mixture we have some semi-sweet and I have some dark cacao. And I'll probably do a little of each. The original recipe I did for these said a cup of chocolate chips. You do not need a cup of chocolate chips for this amount of batter. You need like a half a cup. If you want more, sure, whatever. But start with a half of a cup, which is 85 grams of chocolate chips. One cup of chocolate chips is... Oh, no, no, no. 85 grams of chocolate chips is a half a cup of chocolate chips. What's 85 times two? Because that's what a full cup of chocolate chips is. You do the math. So I'm just gonna use some dark chocolate and some swimmy sweet, cause I like a little, what? Yeah, 170, thank you. We got some, um, we got some, oh, let's just, we'll finish that bag. Okay, well, that's already, that's 80, 89 grams. So we added a little more than half a cup. I won't use any semi-sweet. Oh, and we forgot to preheat the oven. So, <laughs> so I'll see you in just one moment to click four buttons on, you guessed it, the kitchen cam. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Um, and it's dying. <laughs> and now it's preheating to 300, oh, 350 degrees. Don't put it on air fryer. You don't want the convection fans on in a little, in your little oven. Oh, I'll back, throwing it back to you in the studio, Joe. <laughs> that's not a microwave that's an oven that's a mini oven get come on get cultured <laughs> it's nice how nice that's working out for us it's nice how nice it is to have a, a, a kitchen camera that's actually just a zoom call so i'm gonna fold these chocolate chips in there's actually some chocolate bits in here too which i've used before sometimes i use chopped chocolate that if you want people to think that you're let me tell you if you want people to think you have professional cookies don't get chocolate chips get a chocolate bar and chop it up into chunks and it looks like from the fucking bakery okay so this is a great texture. In fact, perfect, some would say. Chef Ramsay, probably. So now we're gonna put them on a, a plate. A pan, in fact. I'm done with all the ingredients. That's literally as simple as it is. And I use my mini pans. I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, What's fallen? One, two, three, four, five, six. I put eight on each pan, and I do use these sil 
uh, silicone mats. Thank you for listening. So we will, we will, while the oven preheats, it doesn't take long to preheat, we'll do a couple pans of these. <laughs> oh, you're allergic to, uh, sorry, I burped. You're allergic to flour, oats, chocolate, eggs, uh, sugar, and butter? Oh. Yeah, you can substitute these for, you just eat an apple. Have you tried eating an apple? Sorry about the burp. The running back and forth is, um... These are a little wetter than usual. <laughs> oh, I know what I do. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. They are a little wetter than usual. Why are things falling? It's weird. <laughs> That's a weird... It, yeah, well, it is perfect. So normally what I do is, I know I said that I don't put them in the fridge, but I usually put them in the fridge while the oven's preheating. Um, just for like five minutes to let the, you want the oats to begin to soak up the liquids. So I'll go do that. You won't see me on the, I won't turn on the camera because it's facing the wrong direction of the fridge. We'll put them in for just a minute. Pop them in the fridge, five to 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's what we do. Uh, I forgot about that one step. So, yeah, you want the full potential. So, in the real, in the original recipes, which I tweaked for this, I think they have them put them in the freezer for like two hours or something. And I said, absolutely not. That's not who I am. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to wait two hours to eat these cookies. So, just while the oven's preheating, you don't have a fridge. You have a microwave? Put them in the basement. <laughs> no, you haven't been paying attention. Can I start over? Of course. Of course I can. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Cut and we'll just restart the whole video. I can open up my... So bef before this... Oh, I just heard it. it's done preheating, but pre pretend it's preheating in five minutes. Um, so before this stream started, I got some Tamagotchis in the mail. Is there no music? Oh, it's just a brand new song. Yeah, this will be up on YouTube tomorrow. It's going to be messy. This is messy. I've been, I'm sweating this whole time. Yeah, a box with ice is fine. An ice box. If you will. <laughs> when do you add the... When do we add the Tamagotchis to the batter? Great question. You don't. You put them in a box and you send them to me. My P.O. box, in fact, is down below. Let me make sure my address is not on the inside of this box. That's the last thing I need. Oh, she packed them really well. So, um, these are Tamagotchi P2s. Wow. That were, um, oh, oh, this is a trash bag. Uh, <laughs> and, and it's also inside another bag. So these are some Tamagotchi P2s I've been wanting and someone recently was like cleaning their stuff out. And um, they had every single clear P2. P2 are the type of Tamagotchis that I, um, that I collect. They're not very, nobody really likes them except me because it was the first Tamagotchi I had. And so I made a deal where I got all five of the clear P2s. The American release P2s. I already have some of the Japanese ones and uh, one of the Hong Kong ones. But look at that. That's the clear, clear one. Fully clear-bodied Tamagotchi P2 from 1997. 
And these are all in perfect condition. Clear pink. Oh my god. I know. I know. So this one you can't tell super that it's clear from here. But this is clear black. So it's got a black smoky tint to it. Yes, this is the this is the clear black one right here. My camera's not good enough for that to show up. The lighting's bad. So this one is actually called like teal. Teal clear. You can it's got a teal hue to it and it's clear. And then this should be the yellow clear. Yep. The yellow slash orange clear. So that's really freaking exciting. I'm really excited because Pichus are Pichus come on the market, but you really never see the clear ones at a good price. No, I mean, these boxes, these have never been opened. They're all sealed, by the way, with the original tape. You just never see them. You just never see them new in box like this, especially the clear. The clear, clear, and the clear, clear blue I've wanted for my collection for a while. So I'm very excited about this. Has the phrasing changed on the package? What do you mean? This, these packages are from 97. I will actually not be opening these. Normally, I open them and take the batteries out. But I will actually not be opening these because I'm so excited for them and they're in such good condition. I mean... When we're talking, these are not worth a lot. Like, they mass-produced the P2s and the P1s so much, especially the Japanese versions. They're, they produce so many, and they're not super sought after. People really like the Tamagotchi connections, the P's, the IDs, the IDLs, the 4U's. Um, but it's not for uh, me. The I... These are the ones I grew up with, the P2s, and that's why I like them so much. That's why I enjoy them so much. So, um, pretty much 80% of my collection is P2s. That clear one is so pretty. Oh my god. The clear ones are just so good. Yeah, the clear connections. People really enjoy collecting those. Yeah, these all got the original tape on them. Mama. Sealed. I'm very excited. They. It was someone who was clearing out their collection from like 25 years ago. And um, they posted a whole bunch of them at once. And I was like, can, I, can we make a deal and I get all of the clear ones and for this? And they were like, yeah, yeah, of course. So... Very exciting day for me and my Tamagotchi collection. Oh, the melons. People really like the melon soda ones. I think I'm going to sell some of my connections because I just love the P2s. They're so simple. I, I don't know actually what you mean at all, Andrew. <laughs> I actually, I don't know what you mean at all. Yeah, they had a lot of P2s, and I said, I need some. I, I bought a couple. Oh, I bought their English Tamagotchi Angel new in box, which I showed you. And they also had the gold one without the lettering. The pre-order one that you had to have, like, a pre-order thing from Toys R Us. Not the gold one with the text. The gold one without the text. Oh, I kind of know now, Andrew, but not really. <laughs> but n not really. Not really. It's almost time, surprising, in fact, in order to roll the dough into balls and eat it. So I'll go get it out of the fridge and then we'll put it on the tray, okay? Oh, be right back. Ha <laughs> ah, ha! I didn't take the headphones out! It 
is a mess in here. <laughs> oh, it is a mess in here. Oh, okay. Almost ripped my whole desk apart by not taking the headphones out. So now it actually five minutes in the fridge did the trick. Perfect consistency. The oats have done their job. They've soaked up some of the liquid and that is it is now something that I will eat. In fact, um, I get them. I get them about this big. They don't need to be very big. And it'll probably make about three trays full. Destroys, destroys the entire show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see the consistency of the batter? Oh, okay, you saw, you saw, you saw. Yeah, it's 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 foldable. It's something that you can now make into a ball. Your hands will get buttery and greasy. Um, yeah. If you want to know the recipe, you can <laughs> rewind. <laughs> yeah, in the YouTube video, I'll write the recipe. In the YouTube video description, I'll write the recipe. So, we're going to put eight on each tray. Get greasy. Well, they're, they're, there's butter in it. So you're going to get, you know, this is wet, wettish dough. So you're going to get some slop on you. Yeah. And what did you... I've had the kitchen cam on several times. Y'all seen the kitchen, right? If you're if you just got here and you haven't seen the kitchen cam, woo, are you in for a treat today? A treat today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a kitchen cam. I've called my kitchen live on Zoom. Okay, so I'll do two trays real quick. We'll put this tray over here. And we'll bring over this tray. <laughs> no, 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 I have washed my hands every time before I did this. But I, 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 sometimes after I did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so they have, they do have remakes of the P2s. Um, the programming is slightly different, but those are available for like 20 bucks on Am on Amazon. They remade the P2s and some like some new shells. Um, I do prefer the vintage ones and the way that they run, but they're still fun to play with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to get blasted in the oven. Blasted, mama. Blazed. Okay. Yummy. Ha, 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 ha. Um, how are y'all doing? <laughs> Not Piggy creeping it. Piggy would never jump on the... Well, Piggy can't jump on the counter. He's so little. He's a wee baby. I had a Gigapet too. I had a Gigapet Tamagotchi. Y'all, I loved virtual pets when I was little. I had a, a Gigapet Tamagotchi, a Nano baby. Um, so I didn't, I have a Dinky Dino now. I've been meaning to sell it. There's a Dinky Dino new in package on my desk. Um, my friend had a Dinky Dino. Uh, did it? Are the oats the only difference from the original recipe? <laughs> okay, so yes, and then also, you know, yes, but that's fine, right? Is this a call out? <laughs> Not saying, so is that it? So you changed one thing and now you're redoing the stream. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so is that it? No, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. The oats are the are the difference. 
but they they make it more consistent so the first time i ever made this on stream um i said there were like variables you could do like it was oh you can do this you can do this you can do this you can do this but this recipe is a, has a little less variables um, I like this one to be measured precisely because it works best. The other one I was like, oh, you can add this much sugar, this much sugar, this much flour, this much flour. This is more of an exact science recipe. Modern science, you might say, if you know the reference. Okay, I'm going to stick these in the oven. If you've just gotten here, you can watch me do that. In fact... Live on the kitchen cam. I'll see you in just one moment on, that's right, the camera in the kitchen. The woman in the window. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you again. Here's, oh, here's what a tray of them looks like. <laughs> These are miniature trays that I use in my miniature oven. <laughs> and we're going to do that for 10 minutes. Set a timer for 10 minutes. <gasps> Easy. I'll see you in just one moment when I am in the other, in the office. <laughs> Is the oven on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. Oh, it's good to see you again. Funny seeing you here. Let's now move the kitchen cam because now we can watch them bake <laughs> and that's what we'll do <laughs> no i don't trust the other joe it's a small apartment i'm not running far it's a small apartment um so now we can talk to each other for 10 minutes Piggy just left the fucking scene. Piggy said, I've had enough. Actually, he probably smells it. They probably smell good to him. But he can't have any. These cookies are not good for dogs. That, in fact, very bad for dogs. Not I'm already out at things to say. Yeah, that's the Bosef cam. Have you noticed I look worse in it? Yeah, you have to participate for 10 minutes now. I'm scrolling down to thank y'all. Shaney, thank you for the bids. Cream or butter? Not this. <laughs> Monica, thank you for the bids. You should be able to yell at me to turn on the oven, but I did for sure preheat it this time. That little red light on it, I think means it's on. Maybe. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, baby olives, thank you for the bids. The heat made me nervous. I shouldn't have worn this sweater today. Um, Gigi, oh, thank you for the bids. Shaney, yeah, that's your uh, y'all should hear that in your dreams. <laughs> it's definitely plugged in, the lights weren't able to be on, right. It's a nice sweater, but it was not the weather. It's not sweater weather today. It's humid and hot and our air conditioner is broken. <laughs> so it's not the move. Um, Gigi, thank you again. That, yeah, it's a fun kitchen. It's nice. We had a, our last kitchen was, was very, very tiny. So we've finally been able to like cook and stuff. No, it's broken from before. The air conditioning people are actually coming out on Monday to give us an estimate for a brand new uh, air conditioning because we're going to need a new one. 
Oh, Topher Chris 98 thank you for the first time sub. Great to have you here. And for the bits as well. Core accents and cookies. Peanut Butter and Jolly, thank you so much for the bits. Shaney, thank you so much again. That salt is use... Are you supposed to use iodized salt during a nuclear blast? Last time I did this, Shelby, you put ants in your cookies, didn't you? So Shelby knows all about adding ants in the recipe. Dust Bonnie, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. For the protein. Tomorrow we're playing Dead by Daylight. They're chocolate chip cookies. They're chocolate chip bowl to hole cookies. And a very easy cookie recipe, in fact. Where's my fucking fan? Oh, here's my dinky dino that's on my desk that I'll be selling soon. <laughs> New and package never opened. But uh, no, bowl just means bowl. God, it is fucking hot in here. Cute bone, thank you for the nine months. Good to have you here. Cookie Kids, thank you for the 35 months. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> t -shirt. I can't. I'm committed, Shelby. Uh, me slowly melting during this stream is, is now part of the shtick. Thank you so much, Cookie Kids. It's always great to see you. I appreciate that. No, this is my foldable fan. And it also is a USB uh, drive or a, a USB, um, what's it called? It's a ch it's an external charger, and then it also has a flashlight. Um, Andrew with Sana, thank you for the twenty three months. Oh my gosh, you're about to get that rainbow pickle juice. Thank you, thank you. At Courtney, oh my God, happy belated birthday. Ooh, what merch did you get? I need to start wearing my own merch. Is what I really need to do. Happy belated birthday, Courtney. I hope you had a good one. Lily Game Girl, great to see you. Oh, good brunch places? You're staying at the wharf. Um... Honestly, the wharf has so many restaurants. I don't go down there much. Very touristy. <laughs> Duplex Diner in Adams Morgan is good. Um, over in Capitol Hill-ish, there is... Um, what's that market called they do on the weekends? There's a market. And it has really good breakfast. I've gone to it a few times. Um. Oh, you're going to a concert at the Anthem. Love the Anthem. Seen several con concerts there. Oh, sorry. Eastern Market. Yeah, Eastern Market's got good. They have really good pastries and stuff. Um. Du anywhere in Dupont Circle. Dupont Circle, you've got Kramer Books. But at the Wharf, there will be so many places. That place is like food paradise. I'm sorry. I'll do it this way. Um, enjoy your stay, though. The wharf is so pretty. It's so freaking pretty. Uh, Gigi, thank you for the bids. I'm going to take three. Whoa, 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 whoa. To ice. Oh, no, 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 no. Three days to make cookies. That doesn't sound like the move. I need cookies immediately. Immediately, I need cookies. Yeah, we'll do tarot cards. Maybe not today. I'm not sure yet. I might do them while the second base, tr the second tray is baking. Um, Shaney, thank you for the bits again. Not old plastic children's toys. First of all, Shaney, me having vintage Tamagotchis is preventing them from being in a landfill. Also, 25 years ago, they're 25 years old. 
I didn't have a choice whether or not they were made. They're made, they're existing, and now I'm collecting them to keep them out of landfills. So, pretty easy being an environmentalist. Pretty environmentally friendly, friendly if you ask me. Oh, the Pillsbury ones, those are pretty good. Yeah, if you like eating cardboard. <laughs> Just kidding. I love the Pillsbury sugar cookies. With what perspective? Oh, yeah, well, collecting vintage toys is something that, like... You really... I mean, the uh, alternative is they're going to be in a landfill. Right? Fairy Godmother, thank you for the bids. What's the most expensive... Tamagotchi I've bought... I don't like to pay a lot for them. If I buy them, I find good deals where I do like trades or something. I have a Tamagotchi on Wonder Garden. I did not pay what it's worth. I paid less. It's worth a bit. Um, I have some Tamagotchi connections that are uh, not super rare. I would say I don't have any Tamagotchis that's worth more than like two hundred dollars and i didn't pay that much for them there are some that are worth thousands i do not collect those oh i do have an a tamagotchi angel Amer english new in box but that's still prop that's less than 200. oh cookies i'll see you on the kitchen camera oh I guess we're going to find out if the oven was on. Ha! Ah, I'll see you in a minute. Ah, Good to see you. Mm, I made them a little too big after all, but they look delicious. They ran. Oh, it's burning. It's burning. <laughs> My hand burned. Now, in fact, um, <laughs> in fact, I made them a little bit bigger than I should have. And they some some of them kind of stuck together, but that's not that big of a deal because you just cut them. You just cut them off from each other. And now I'll put in this second tray. That was indeed the perfect amount of time. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Great. So we'll let these ones cool for 10 minutes while those are cooking for 10 minutes. And then I'll eat some of them. Oh, see you in a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's the audio that's the audio from the laptop. It's a Zoom call, y'all. Okay? I'm not rich. <laughs> okay, it's a Zoom call. Oh, Justin loves them. He's he was excited I was gonna make them today, making them today. Who's that? Not who's that person? What if we were looking at the kitchen cam and we saw someone walk across? I'd shit my pants. I'd shit my pants. Uh, kill a tray. Thank you for the bids. I appreciate that. Good to see you, Froggy Girl. Oh, preheat oven, one stick butter, 190. Makes a I think you got it. Let's see. No, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. Um, did you put the vanilla in there? The, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. I'll write it out for y'all. Don't worry. Um... Thank you for the bids. Mad Coco, thank you for the bids. Got here just in time to see me called out. Ugh, it happens. It happens to the best of us. 
Shaney, thanks again for the bits. Iodine pills will help absorb radiation. It won't save you, but will minimize radiation poisoning. I, I don't know if I want to... You survive. Thank you for the bits. May Morgan, thank you for the bits. Oh yeah, you'll you'll definitely be it'll be so exciting to see how these cookies turn out. Very excited. Cloak Sword, thank you for the bids. Making cookies and you're eating cookies? That is wild. That sounds like <laughs> I was more excited. I was too excited about that. I love the the Pillsbury. Um no, 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 no. Keebler. The Keebler cookies with the M&Ms in them. IRL Troll Doll. Thank you for the two months. Good to have you here. Matt Coco. I would be shocked if Piggy jumped on the counter in the kitchen. He whines sometimes for me to lift him up on the couch. Sometimes he whines to be lifted up onto the couch. And he has a bad leg. Uh, Cloak Sword, thank you so much again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to, I had to get the, I had to get the, uh, the, the, you know, the hot glove. Heat, heat mitt, oven mitt. Uh, and Monica, the Thomas I'm gonna sell are the English versions. Some of them are. Some of them aren't. Um... Yeah, I will. The first two I'm going to sell are not English. They're over here. I'm probably going to sell my um, Tamagotchi Meats uh, Pink Magic one and my Tamagotchi Mix Purple Spacey one. I just never play with them and I have Ons, so I don't need those. And I'd rather have some P more P2s. Nobody collects P2s. They're... F they're... Nobody. But that's good for me because then I can buy them. That's good for me. Because I'll buy them. The kitchen cam made a noise? Oh, I'll mute it. What did it do? The oven did a thing? Oh, shit! So actually what had happened, it did turn off, but it, I caught it right when it turned off. So what had actually happened um, was, so that oven has a timer on it. Um, and when the timer goes off, the oven turns off and I forgot to make the timer go up to like two hours. So it's still on, it's still cooking, it's still 350 deg degrees and it's great. And it is so good. I'm so good. I hope you are good too. When did that happen? Yeah, I'm glad y'all heard it. I'm glad y'all were listening for it. It's one of those streams. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, I'm going to take a four hour nap after this. <laughs> Not this, Shaney. That's terrifying. We have, um, we have a couple cameras in our house that we arm when we leave. One in the living room and one in the bedroom. I have to keep an eye on Piggy. Thank you so much for the bits again, Shamey. Shaney. Did I say Shamey? <laughs> Shamey. Yeah, that would scare me. 
How long is the lag? How soon are you looking at the cameras? What? Mine are all instant. How laggy? Y'all are like in the... Y'all are like mobile. Y'all are like Twitch mobile. Well, I'm a little bit hot, but I'm going to be fine. It's just a matter of you know, my life at this point. I should be drinking water. I could drink some of that egg coffee. Oh. <laughs> ah! Well, I accidentally put the eggshells in the coffee earlier when I cracked the egg. Is that okay? Is that not okay? <laughs> Is that okay with y'all? Well, we'll do those two batches and then there's a little bit left over. Probably enough for another like, probably enough for another tray. I don't know. No, I didn't crack an egg in there. I'm not like y'all. I'm not like y'all's OJ and... Oh, what do y'all... OJ and espresso bullshit? The holes is this hole. Um, absolutely not true, Shelby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Into fun shapes? Uh, no. If you shape the cookies, they just, they, they squish down anyway. They squish, squish. I would eat an orange juice cookie. They have orange juice cake. I mean, technically you get to pick a hole, but I'm not going to be held liable if y'all don't put cookies in your mouths and you put them in a different hole. Make a batch that's just one really big cookie? No. That's not the recipe. No. Your mouth hole. That's the hole. Ew, we don't, I would not get cookies in the mail unless I knew they had like heavily, they had heavy amounts of preservatives in them. <laughs> heavy amounts of preservative. They're called Boulder Hole. Oh, the timer's going off. These ones might need an extra minute or two for that moment with the rest in peace the oven okay hold on um and actually i might so let's go ahead and make the kitchen camera bigger because i'll need to put them on a tray you watch me put them on a tray that's fine ah! 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 Back here in the kitchen. Oh, oh. Yum. Delicious. That's what we're eating. Oh. They look so good. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Here's one of the ones from the first batch. They're really good. Not a Nokia phone. These are really fucking good. These are really good. Actually, they're not really soft. Oh. They're kind of crispy on the outside and a little softer on the inside. Ah. Uh.
I think I had low blood sugar. Oh, new G G G G open wide. <laughs> Mm. I think I have low blood sugar. <laughs> oh, I think I was about to pass out. What do you think about that? <laughs> I think I was about to pass out. Okay, I'm gonna transfer the first batch onto this plate, which is actually a gift from my dead grandma. She didn't give it to me until after she died, in fact. And I'm not entirely sure she intended for me to have them. But now they're mine and she's dead. So we don't argue about it. So these are, they're Corel, actually. Um. Yeah, these all, these turned out great. Now you can pick them up. Oh, these are so fucking good, y'all. They're the perfect texture. After they have a minute to cool, they're kind of crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Uh, uh. All right, we're going to put our last tray of cookies in the oven. These ones will probably be a little bit fluffier because the longer you leave the dough, the more the oatmeal soaks it in so they kind of get more firm. So if I had kept these in the fridge a little longer, they'd be a little fluffier. So you can kind of gauge that yourself. These are so good, y'all. Like, and I used, I used the dark chocolate chips. They're so fucking good. Uh, It's so, isn't it fun to be on Zoom together? Um, in fact, it's like we're co-workers. Some of y'all come here to escape from work and now you're seeing that everything's a Zoom call. It was all Zoom calls all the time. It was all Zoom calls. The whole time it was Zoom calls. Okay, I think I can scrape out one more cookie from this batch. This tray only has six on it. That will be good. Just another coworker, just another day at work with the gang. What are some of our office jokes, y'all? Oh, um, Brad's over at the uh, water cooler again, pissing in it. <laughs> No. I'm just washing my hands. I'm just washing my hands over here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this. I work five days a week. First of all, thank you very much. This is the... <laughs> I have a podcast I do. Okay, 10 more minutes. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, I'll bring these in here to show you. Oh, oh, Susie keeps eating Jill's lunch. Susie kept stealing Jill's lunch, and so what Susie did is she placed a single turd in her lunchbox, and Jill ate it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's the fun stuff you do on Zoom? Can I do like, um, oh, whoa, whoa, here we go. <laughs> is there more oh 
Oh, reporting to you live from uh, Greenland, in fact, maybe even Iceland. We are, <laughs> it's nice and cold, and so I can finally wear this sweater. Um, coming to you live from the grass, I, this is A Bug's Life, the hit Disney Pixar film. Wait, 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 wait. Uh oh. <laughs> Did I try too many things? Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, shit, it's crashing. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Did it crash? Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. If you're over there. <laughs> I tried to add too many filters and the kitchen came. <laughs> and, the, and it broke. And in fact, the kitchen camera is frozen. Wait, if you're over... Well, that's fine. We're on our last batch. Here they are. Here's the first batch. Very yummy. Very yummy and sad for you. So, these are really perfect. They're thin. They're, you can, if you put them in the fridge a little longer, you can get them less thin. But they're gooey on the inside, crisp on the outside. And if you if you don't have to stream and and yell at people, you can make them really fast. If you don't have to stream and yell at people. You can make them really fast. Ah, uh, They're so fucking good. Yeah, we'll keep the kitchen cam on. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Well, I have to tell you. This stream went exactly how I thought it would. <laughs> stream actually went exactly how I thought it would. Wait, you can't have dairy? What's in these that are dairy? There's no milk in them. The chocolate chips? You can buy just buy um milk milk free chocolate chips. Oh, butter. <laughs> butter comes from a cow? Well, I'll tell you right now, you can actually replace butter with um this is only the second one I'm eating, okay? You can replace butter with either applesauce or with banana. It will change the flavor, but um, you can do it. <laughs> you want merch of this? I'll put this on a mug. <laughs> yeah, eggs are dairy, Monica. You never seen a cow shitting out an egg? Y'all wouldn't buy that. Y'all always tell me to put things on mugs and then two of them sell. I've never had vegan butter. Not bet. Well, let's make it big so we can get a good screenshot of it. Put that on the mug. <laughs> Why do I look like that? Do I look like that all the time? We had some unflattering angles on the kitchen camera today. There were some unflattering angles. 
I saw Piggy. Did Piggy run through here? Oh, I don't have any chocolate in my teeth. That's good. I look like I'm having... I just look like I'm having a nice picnic. And I'm like on my... I'm on my stomach like this. And I was chatting with you on Zoom. Hey, friends. I should end that Zoom call. Let's just... Oh, no. I guess we can keep it going. It's fun. Isn't that fun? Oh, I minimized it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where the fuck did I go? Is it not still frozen? <laughs> this is some fucking spooky ass of the grudge bullshit that just happened. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go in the kitchen and see if that's working now. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'll go back to the kitchen. Wait, can y'all hear me? Can you... Skinny I am next to this grass. <laughs> okay, well kitchen cam's working again. How much how long do we have on the timer? Oh, there's a minute and 30 seconds, so I'll just stay in here for a little bit. Now y'all know why it's so hard for me to find jeans. Ugh. Excuse me. What if I blur my background? Oh. I'm on the floor right now. <laughs> this is so fun. Why don't I do all of these on Zoom calls? Why don't, wait, why the fuck don't I do all of my streams as a Zoom call? Why aren't they all? <laughs> oh, hey, this is like telehealth therapy. I look so red. What did we have? Um, oh, that's the one. This is what videos look like when I started YouTube 14 years ago. Well, in my therapy sessions, my therapist is always on the kitchen floor shoveling cookies into his mouth um, during my sessions. Cookies are done! Wow, this is a really good green screen. <laughs> All the way from space and straight to your heart. Fold the whole cookies. Ooh, they're out of this world. <laughs> Back to you down on Earth, Tom. Coming to you live from the space station. See you in a minute. Bye. Oh my God. 
I'm glad I don't have to run back and forth anymore. <laughs> Not do a flip in space. <laughs> Was that Sandra Bullock? In the hit movie Gravity? Wow. Big if true. Really interesting if true. Well, this was a fun day. I'll say that much. Thank y'all for having me do a baking stream. There is, there is so much mess to clean up. <laughs> that's the new, that's the new bold hole recipe. They, and they turn out literally so good. Look at these. You see so the chocolate chips are on, you know, they're in there. I don't, I don't, you know, you know this is the perfect amount of chocolate chips for me. That is so good. Well, we've really done it all today. That was a really fun stream. Thank you for being here and cooking the uh, baking, actually. The, my world famous Boulder Hole cookies. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put the recipe down in the description. Um, so you can check it out there. Tomorrow, yes, will be Dead by Daylight. I mean, what else could we do today? We've been an ant. We've been an ant in the grass. I, I made cookies in outer space. We really did it all today. Saw Sandra Bullock um, in the sky up there when I was in space, actually. Thank you so much, Froggy Girl and Lily Game Girl. This was a blast. Cash Money Alley, thank y'all for the bits, too. This was a true blast. I'm glad we got you to do a baking stream. Next week, I'm going to be carving a jack-o'-lantern at some point. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that as well. Hey, look, we're 67% to the sub goal. That's freaking awesome. The first sub goal. <laughs> okay thank y'all so much for being here we'll do the chill lo-fi music on the way out to keep the vibes right um thank you for all the bits donations subs gift subs wonderful patreon patrons y'all are freaking awesome oh why didn't the sub goal thing work oh well it looks like the ch the chat bot's not working <laughs> but the sub goal is play desperate housewives have a friend's giving and then at 7.50, we'll uh, listen to some of my old music, too. The robots are rebelling. Thank you so much for the Patreon patrons, too. Like I said, y'all are the reason I get to do this. Love y'all so much. I will see y'all tomorrow with Dead. That's right. By Daylight. Uh, see you then. Bye.